Thank you, sir. Okay. So holistic. But when we talk about growth, it's what we see from, from young, from cradle to uh, tomb. No? And then our maturity goes with our growth. But development is spiritual, emotional, psychological, diba? Okay, so I think that was, that was it. And we shared a lot of things about some development, about failures, no? Progress. So anyway, for today's topic, we have our expert speaker. <laughs> and of course... He is the brain, so he has a lot to share about our topic today. So the topic is about cultivating the seed of greatness. So this is going to be our last session for a formal session that would talk about something. So what is this all about? Let's all have our virtual applause as we welcome our speaker, Sir Dennis Kitoy. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Dennis. Dennis. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, uh, Mom Beulie, for that uh, very warm and welcoming. Um, my heart really uh, jumped for joy because of all of the participants. They are here and willing to um, learn more as what the prayer says me, Makam Ganina. And then I'm so much grateful for all of the graduating okay. students <laughs> ganina they are so obedient um they participated they listen and then they follow and then it was a great day having a kanang practice with them and then they uh, we can we can see the glow in their eyes nga excited guys lamu graduate at thank you so much for behaving they are so participative and then it just makes my heart kanang overflowing of happiness. Uh, thank you so much. And then thank you so much everyone for kanang giving your time, efforts, and then napay uban nag-download para lanjud na maka-attend. And then um, for me, this is a very kanang uh, wonderful experience uh, to got to be gathered uh, with our kanang expert sad si Ma'am Viuli. She's very humble, but she 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 knows a lot. And then Sir Jason Bugtong is one of the great example in Lahug Night High School. Um, walay teacher nga muingon nga si Sir Bugtong. Um, I can say na tanan teacher dra sa Lahog Night High School you, basa si Sir Bugtong, you will learn many things and you will you will receive help from him every time. So um, actually you you really have a wonderful people in Lahog Night High School. And then it is really a great experience to be with them. Dili lang kay ako ang Maka-receive ana ng mga blessing hasta ang mga estudyante. Maka-receive sila blessing because of the united effort of all of the teachers in Lahog Night High School. You are so blessed nga ang mga teachers sa Lahog Night High School kanang united sila in doing good things. So, I have to be thankful for that. <laughs> so, okay, now uh, we will begin. I will be showing my slide. Um, the, the topic that we gave to you is actually uh, cultivating the seed of greatness. But uh, my introduction is to show to you what is, um, what is the front line of, of being motivated to cultivate all those kanang greatness. So, uh, Nakoy mga ipakita ninyo nga slide nga kini siya mo, mo relate sa inyong true identity. Now, we, I already talked to you about your true identity na we came from our Father in Heaven. Siya ang Papa, o niya isip amahan, 
Pwede ka maka-mute. Oh, nga maka-mute. <laughs> sir Bugtong, kuan sa ka ko, ah, host saga sir. Pwede saga maka-mute sa laha. Kung naay masaba, okay. So, okay. Um kana siya. Isip usa ka amahan, ako ako na usam ko kaamahan si Sir Bugtong, usa ka amahan. Isip usa ka mahan ang gusto namo para sa among mga anak maparihas sama namo. So parihas ni Heavenly Father. Gusto ni Heavenly Father nga iyahang mga So I will be convincing you that you belong to a royal family, not only ordinary people, not only just a kanang uh, muingunta nga kuan ra man good mister nga ani ra no. You have your kanang potential to be like our heavenly father. So I will be convincing you. I hope na makonvince makonvince ta mo na you have that seed of greatness in in yourself. Sa inyo ha jud ang kaugalingon. And then you are unique. You are one of the great and noble. Nga wala niyo may bawi pero I will be showing you na you really belong to the royal family in heaven. So I will be showing my slide. I hope na everyone will be kanang participating while I'm in the middle of discussion. You can insert, you can excuse or you can say, sir, I want to share something. I will give you the time. It's up to you. I will be kanang more kanang sensitive to all of your engagement. I will be happy to let you say something in the middle of the discussion. Okay? So, this is my slide. I will be showing my screen. Okay. Did you see my screen? Not yet, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Naa? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Na. Wala pa ako, sir. Lag pa, sir. Okay. Sir, Sir Dinis Kitoy, I have no capability to... Ah... Uh... Hello? Na, sir. Uh, okay na, sir. Si Jason mo ay capable to mute. Okay, thank you, ah, sir. Okay, We can sige. see. Mm -mm. Okay, so power in yourself. Uh, we will cultivate the seed of greatness. So every person, every student, basta every individual, there is power in, inside of you power in yourself so there is always that power in every individual children of heavenly father so that is a good good thing to know that each and every one of you have this power okay okay um Now, now, this is the definition of power. Power, the capacity that A has to influence the behavior of B so that B acts in accordance with A's wishes. Okay? And then the other one is the most important aspect of power is that it is a function of dependence. Okay? So another one is power is the ability to do something or act in a particular way, especially as a faculty of quality. Yang synonyms is ability, capacity, capability, potential, faculty, competence. Now, you can see this is the ability to do something or act 
So meaning there is an act, there is an action in a particular way. So when there is power, there is also an action. So when you when you develop this power, you need also to develop the action in order for you to fuel the power. So we will see what are the components in order for us to receive this power. Okay? I'm not talking about power of super marvels. We were talking about power na gisulti diri ganina na capacity that A has to influence the behavior of B. So you have this power that somebody will look onto you as a model and they will follow you because of that influence. So that's what I mean sa kanang power. Okay? So mo ni siya. So makita ninyo to act in a particular way. So nai action. So action includes a principle of faith and of power. So there is always action when we want to fuel the power. So ang action sa there is a principle of faith and of power. So meaning when you have the faith, you will produce the power. When you act something and then you have this faith and then power will come. So we will try to connect all of these kind of components. Another one, faith is both a principle of action and of power. Gishir na siya ni Marcos B. Nash. Na ang faith daw is both action and power. So if you have the faith, you will demonstrate action and power. So you cannot say na faith without action. And nasa dira sa New Testament, ang gisulti dira, faith and then no action is dead. So dapat faith, there is always a principle of action to produce the power. Okay, next. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So duha. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, and then faith is the evidence of things not seen. So faith is the substance, meaning this is the assurance. This is the truth. Monish, dili pwede nga ka ng damgo-damgo lang. Dili pwede nga ka ng wishing lang. Substance meaning you really have to do the action. You really understand that there is always a result in performing the action. But then, in reality, in our life, when you do the action, there is ka ng dili, but pasabot nga ni lihok ta, makuha dayo na to ang kanang result. Na ay times na magpaabot taro na to makuha. For example, may skwila taog senior high school, di ba, na ay grade 11 and 12. Ni work hard ta sa grade 11 niya, wak na ni work hard sa grade 12, di yun ta mo graduate. So mo na ipasabot niya nga, di po buot pasabot na ni trabaho ta, makuha dayo na to ang result. Mo na natay gitawag nga, faith is the substance of things hope, meaning ni hope ta. When we work out, put our action sa pagka-grade 11 nato, na o niya pagka-grade 12 nato, giput niya po nato atong action, and then we hope na we can graduate after our action. So it can be achieved because you are demonstrating your faith by doing the action. Okay? I hope you got the point. This is what I mean in connection with all of those elements. The bottom is the action. There is always action below. In everything that we are doing, there should always be action when we want to have a result. Atong result is power. Now, action and then faith and hope and then we combine it, there will be a power. So, when we talk about action, this will answer the question how. How are we going to do our responsibility or example, senior high school students? How are we going to do to achieve or to graduate after two years in senior high school? So this action 
will answer the question how. And then the faith will answer the question why. In your life, there are a lot of challenges happening to you. And then you question if you will continue or not. And then your faith depends on yourself. Now, can I do this or, or will I just stop or not continuing my um, education? So when you have that faith, this will answer the question of why I am doing this. Because this is my plans. This is what I am going to achieve. So this is, this, uh, the, the, the faith that you have will answer the question why. Why? Nga naman mukpadayin kong skwila or nga naman jud kinahanglan ko mo answer sa daghang kay mga module. O nga naman jud nga kanang mangita ko makaon sa mong pamilya o niya mabiyaan ako ang module. Nga nung ako mo buhaton nga musakripisyo ko aron lang jud para sa akong pamilya o sa akong pag-eskwela. So all of these questions in your life na sometimes you will see na there is no answer in all of my questions. But when you have that faith, all of the why your questions in life will be answered because of this faith. And then faith, because faith is the substance of things hoped for and then the evidence of things not seen. So you can really see the future by having that faith but 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 because of that faith you will also fuel the action in order to really establish the faith and then when time goes by now sometimes you will say sir pwede na pani kamot wa gyap po result wala gyap po tubag sa ako mga ako ang mga pangutana so the hope will come in that's the and the, the hope will answer the question what uh what did you do uh, what are those things now you need to learn? So when, when you ask yourself now, I've done a lot of things, a lot of actions, my faith grows, but then there is no answer. And then maybe the answer is just wait for a while. That, that is the hope. So you need to establish the hope in order to strengthen the faith. And then the hope and the faith will be strengthened, continue to do the action. And then everything, the result will be power to do so so i hope you you see the concept the, the four elements of how to achieve that power you need to establish the action so that all of the how what to do how to do it will be answered and then when uh, struggles or challenges will come to your to your life you need to establish that faith in order to answer the why and then when there is a delay in doing all of these things, for example, mo skwila ka senior high, di manayingun nga one year lang, so two years. So you need to really hope for things that will be achieved when you go through grade 11 and grade 12, answering all of your modules. So that is life. There is no such thing as when you pray and when you ask, the, the answer will come directly. There is always a delay. There is always a process that you need to go through in order for you to really achieve what you wanted. Now, in combination of this answering the how, the why, and the what, the result is ultimately the power to do so. You have that power to motivate your, yourself in order to move forward in achieving all of those plans, goals that you have, whether it is uh, short-term goals, intermediate goals, or long-term goals, you can really achieve that by establishing these key components. So, Kanasha, I hope that nga akong na share sa inyo ha on how to establish and then how to achieve the result, the power. Okay. Um, I need to move forward. Um, in this in this mortal probation, this earth, uh, there is a kalibutan ba? Uh, this this kanang there is a kalibutan. Uh, this is the place wherein we can kanang learn and improve, wherein we can kanan experience hardship, challenges, experience a lot of things. Nganuman, what is the purpose? What is the objective? Why we are here? 
nga nung naman yun na sa kalibutan na uh, why we struggle all of these things nga man sir nga natao kog pobre ang ginikanan sila natao dato ang ginikanan din nga nung nga naman yun ang mahitabo na ko sir nga maglisod yung kog sabot og English hinay kay kustanan sa English what what is the purpose the objective of all of these things then you will know that the the purpose of life why we are here on earth is to really improve na nata diri sa kalibutan para matesta masulayan mag-improve unya preparation for us to a big something in the future um you know na in the fathers in the father's king uh, in the father in the heavens in the father there's a lot of kingdom now all of us his children nga mahimo tang sama niya will rule all of those kingdoms now how are we going to rule those kingdoms if we are not tested if we are if we are not kanang struggling to learn in more, in in this earth life na wala ta ni agi challenges wala ta ni agi kalisu then we will not be kanang um experiencing difficulties unsa man nato pag prepare sa tong kaugaling nga mahimo tag rulers kingdoms in heavens together with our heavenly father so mona siya the purpose of why we are here in mortality is to really learn and improve and then education ah uh, ganahan ko sa katong quotation nga gihatag ni sir bugtong na siya gihatag nga quotation sa tua Ah, uh, ako to siyang asa to dapit kani kani siya. Ingon si Dr. Jason Robyo Bugtong, doctor na si Sir Bugtong ha. <laughs> Ingon si Sir Bugtong, to learn is to teach. To, to teach is to love. So, di ba nindot kayo ah, uh, I would like to ask kanang Sir Dr. Sir Jason Bugtong to really kanang Pwede ni mo ma-expound, sir, ang kaninga uh, imuhang gihatag, sir, nga kaning statement on how to improve learning and how to really love in teaching. So I can okay. give you, sir. <laughs> okay, so good good evening uh, once again. Uh, from, uh, from, uh, okay. okay. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, once again, good evening uh, to all of you, uh, to Sir Dennis, Ma'am Biuli, uh, Sir Stephen, Manilag, sir. Okay, so thank you, Sir Dennis, for the opportunity no, of allowing me to, to share uh, uh, this uh, saying that I shared to you this morning. Uh, to learn is to teach, to teach is to love. So as long as we are here on earth, as I quote to you, that the purpose is here is for us to improve from being young to old, uh, from cradle to grave, from physical to spiritual, because our spiritual being is our ultimate end uh, of life. Ultimate end of life is to be in communion with our Creator someday in our in the right time. So on this planet. On earth, we have to learn life. Uh, le learning is a lifelong process from birth to death. Because even if you are still inside the womb of our mother, during the conception, during the first meeting of the sperm cell and the egg cell, there is already learning. Our mind is like a sponge. It absorbs whatever things, uh, feelings or things that shared by the father to the feelings of the mother that becomes emotion and the emotions of the mother is transmitted to us inside the womb. There is already learning there, but not using our senses, but there is learning there through vibration and through uh, energy transformation. So all the things that we learn from young to old, from your kinder to your senior high school, the purpose of learning is for us to teach ourselves and after teaching ourselves is to teach others because we cannot teach others if we are not learning and we are not teaching ourselves. We can give what we don't have. The time that we are full of learning holistically, 
like the aim of this program, holistic learning doesn't focus only on the the mental state, on the physical aspect, but everything, all the aspects of a human being. I think there are many. Uh, there are many aspects. No, if we're going to identify them, there are many. But to be specific, just for to make them in in, in a bigger group of categories, I think there are six. No, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Spirit, uh, mental, physical, spiritual, sexual, uh, and other other aspect. So that's why in learning we have to share because the moment we die. If we will not pass on our learning to other people, then that defeats the purpose of improving ourselves. Because in improving ourselves, we have also to, to share that to other people. But in teaching also, we will not focus more on asking much monetarily or materially in return. But in teaching, it should be done out of love. Because teaching out of love, we are doing and following the ministry of Christ because the mission that God uh, gives us is to share his love through us by loving other people, so by evangelizing the cause of love that advocated by the Father, the Creator. Because the reason why he created the world because out of love because he wanted to share his love through his uh, creation. However, the other side wanted to destroy his expression of love, the beauty of the world, the, the other force, no? So, to, re to restore, he sent his son to restore, to save. He sacrificed his son out of love. He said, sakit, namatay yung anak, but out of love. No? So, ako balay ko, to make it uh, simple, uh, is that on earth, the first thing we have to do is to learn. As, that's why students have to study. Uh, we have to become disciple. No? Disciple of learning. Disciple of our teachers. So that someday, the learning that we learn from different people, we can teach to others. Of course, from ourselves first, we have to teach ourselves. Then we can teach others. But in teaching, in doing so, it should be more of love. So that is the, the saying that, that I, I, I uh, put into one. Uh, so I hope you you get the point of the meaning of that uh, saying. Uh, and that's my motto in teaching. Also. I hope I am clear to say. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, that's all, sir, Dennis. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Dr. Jason Robbie Bugdong. Um, thank you so much. Um, okay. Okay, thank you so much. Um, to learn is to teach the best. To teach is to love the best. Uh, you can you can also see that in Lahug Night High School, mga teachers. I I see a lot of teachers in Lahug Lahug Night High School when they teach, they learn something. And then because of the kanang circumstances, ba na experience mga student, the teacher develop this kind of love when they teach. I I I see that in every level sa Lahug Night High School. And then I heard uh, some of the students ingon sila na pasalamat jugo ni ma'am o sir nga uh, understanding sila kaayo. I feel their love. Na, na, na feel sa nako ba na nindota sa mga teachers sa lahog eh. Kay, nabi tayo taas kay nga understanding and because of that understanding na uh, himo siyang love niya. Mauna siya. Uh, thank you kaayo uh, Sir Jason sa imuhang explanation sa kani. Mubalik ta, uh, di ba ang akong objective is to convince you that you belong really to a noble family coming from our Heavenly Father. Now, before we came to this earth, uh, makita ninyo na Genesis chapter 3 verse 22. Uh, this is the time nga si Adan and Eve, you remember Adan and Eve. 
si Adan and Eve na, na kao nila ang uh, fruit of knowledge of good and evil. Mao na siya ang netabu. Ang gisulti diri sa kaninga verse, chapter 3 verse 22, And the Lord God said, Behold, the man, man and the woman, kay si Eve, si Adan si Eve, man and the mom, woman, is become as one of us to know good and evil. So, kung imo na siyang sabton, the, uh, the man and the woman become one of us. So, meaning, Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ, they are gods. Now, when, when we become like them because we know good and evil, so we become like them knowing good and evil. But not that kanang in the level of their glorious kay sila glor- glorified beings man sila kita is wala pa man taana but klaro kay gisulti dira na we become like them we have the potential we have the potential to become like them to be like them so mao na siya kung input ani nga nga verse na muingon ka nga sir na tawar mo ko i am nothing no you cannot say that you have something in yourself. Nga, katong kisulti ni Sir Bugtong ganina, the moment nga ang mag-meet ka ng cell, there is already, e, sa tagay mo Sir, emotion, there is already e, kanang activities going on, yes, learning. There is, all, there is already learning. That is true. That's why when parents, naman dito tayo mga senior high school student during nga pregnant, I'm sorry to say, but there are senior high school pregnant, you, you, you take care of the baby inside your womb. Kaya nga no, ni Sulti si Sir Bugtong ganina na, na ang bata nga nasa yung tiyan, ang, ang learning nagsugod na. Nagsugod ang so meaning, ang baby nga nasa yung tiyan, imo siya kantakantahan, imo siya tudluan because they are starting learning. So, each and every individual madato ka, mapubrika ka, o ma-professional ka, o dili, ma ka, is they have the capability of growing, learning, and improving. Each individual, walay pinili. Because the Lord, the Lord God said, we become like them in the moment na katong we know the good and evil. di ba? Kitantanan, kabalo magyuta on say dili maayo on say maayo. So we already know that. So I, I don't want to kanang kanang expound kay pwede naman na siya masabtan self-explanation. Now the next thing is kaning nasa Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 Before you were formed in the womb, I knew you. Kita mo? Before ka ni Sud sa tiyan sa imong mama kaila ang nagstorya ni ang nagsulta ni si Jehovah si Jehovah si Jesus Christ na siya in the Old Testament ang nagsulta na si Jehovah ingon siya before you were formed in the womb I knew you so meaning we came from them before we came to this earth di ba klaro kayo so meaning we really belong to a royal family we are not belong to just simple and kanang nothing ah uh, kanang murag robot nga dili mo improve kay naka program na daan no each individual has this power in ourselves we inherited those power from our heavenly father from the parents our heavenly parents we inherited all of those kinds of kanang talents, ability, capability, um, all of the abilities that men can possess in this mortal life nga pwedeng ma-develop sa every individual na ana siya sa tua. It's up to us lang on how are we going to develop all of these things. So, I hope nga ma-convince ta mo that you're really something. You're not just an ordinary student. You are, in the eyes of our Heavenly Father, you are everything. He, he have a special plan for each and every 
individual, all of us, walay gipili na atay potential kanang makatungog ta na permi nga develop your full potential always na lang na nato madungog pero actually we really have that full potential if we really develop that full potential in ourselves that is why we need to develop we need to cultivate the seed of greatness in inside us we need to cultivate and then uh, to really stress that out how to cultivate um, the seed of greatness we can talk about that uh, later on sa pagpadayo na to sa slide okay so the ultimate the ultimate ang pinaka taas nga nganong why we are doing this nganong mo eskwela pa man kita sir nganong why we are doing all of these things? When you read that one, um, pwede na ko hang you on si isa na si na si Gior. Wala. Pwede na, pwede na ko hang you on si, si Sir Manila kung naa siya. Muragwa, nawala si Sir Manila no. Marag nawa. <clears throat> Wala. Okay. Uh, can I invite Maxine Kabuwal? Yes, sir. I'm here, sir. Okay. Uh, read read a statement and then try to share what are your thoughts about it. Oh, okay, sir. Um, becoming like God is, in fact, the ultimate purpose of education. So for me, my thoughts about this statement is, um, pareha ni God na um, knowledgeable siya. Um, he created all of us. Um, he is very amazing, um, creating um, a very amazing people, very amazing people like us. Um, although very knowledge knowledgeable si God, um, he never really, um, ano, he never really judged us. Um, uh, we are really imperfect sometimes. Kanang dagan kitag mga kanang sayup sayup, and kanang dagan kitag doubts. Pero si God kay kanang even though nga kanang lahi na kayo o kanang kanang level lang yahang intelligence kay never judge ni lockdown nato. So that is what we should reflect. Like example, feel na to taas na kaya tag level of intelligence kay educated na kay ta kanang bright na kuno hay kay ta and then sometimes mo look down na other people um that is um very wrong so about this statement becoming like god is in fact the ultimate purpose of edu education kanang kanang inana sa ta dapat kanang if kanang feel na to nga kanang bright na kay ta kanang taas na kay tag intelligence level Diga po na to, dapat kalimtan ang kanang pagtanaw sa atong isig ka tao as pareha na, as pareha na to nga kanang kanang dili wala tay kahitas on dili ta dili ta mas taas pa nila kanang same lang jud ta ba kanang mosabot gyapon ta nila and kanang we humble ourselves lang just like God nga kanang never jud nagjudge na to so we should never judge someone else even though that we feel like we are educated educated enough so that's what i think sir about the statements <laughs> thank you thank you maxine for a uh, beautiful insight and then thoughts about it i have thank seen you. kanang hand raising see si niku makam would you like to share about your thoughts um sir uh dagdag ko lang din po kay maxine po Gaya din po nang sinabi ko as early kanina po nang nag-share ako sa room natin. We should never use our ego. Kasi minsan po, yung sinabi niyo po dito, be, becoming like God is in fact the ultimate pur purpose of education. Tapos yun po yun sir, kasi sometimes kapag nas, ando na nga tayo sa peak of our league, ando na tayo sa highest peak of our league, minsan kung mapasok sa atin yung ego natin, yung pride natin, pero kailangan wag tayo magpakain sa ego natin, wag tayo magpakain sa pride natin na we stay humble like God. Because God is just, God, God is just. 
And also, God is loving. God is always two sides, sir. He always understand, but He always punish them. Yun po yun, sir. So, kailangan meron po tayong certain part in our life na hindi tayo, hindi tayo magyayabang. Hindi natin ipapakita kung ano yung kaya nating gawin kung hindi naman talaga siya kinakailangan. Kasi in certain times, God will show what He can through His wrath. Di ba nga po, sir, meron tayong mga natural disasters. Doon po natin makikita yung kaya niya. So, parang si God, ipakita lang natin kung ano yung... Na yung kaya natin dun sa certain time na required talagang ipakita ko ni kaya natin, huwag tayo maging hambog na iyayabang natin na ah, basic lang yan, madali lang yan, kaya ko yan, easy lang yan. Pero actually, hindi lang ikaw yung nakakakaya nun, kaya dapat we stay humble and be God-like figure. Yan lang, sir. Wow! Very good! Um, thank you so much, um, Nico Makam, for that kanang beautiful reminder I would like to pose a question actually this is a situation okay and then ay nine raising hands si Rosaline Sagisabal would you like to add your thoughts Rosaline Sagisabal ah uh, yes sir for uh, okay go about, ahead uh my thought about this is education is not just for for learning in worldly things but or but also for to learn how to to be like god and to know him more not lang, sir. wow okay to be like god so meaning um godly like so kung si heavenly father si god is good and just and honest and kanang trustworthy so we can develop those kind of character or attributes yes. diba? because yes, we sir, become yes, if we are doing this we become like them we become uh, like uh, their characters so um education is part of it so education is the thing that could help you improve and could help you kanang understand things and then you can understand characters of being like God. So the education will inform and give you all of this knowledge in order for your eyes to see on what should be, uh, how, how should we act, how should we treat somebody, how are we going to uh, sure. manifest or demonstrate sure. that love. Okay, si, si Nico to, si Makam. Yes, sir. Sir, excuse okay. me lang, sir. Um, may iwan lang po sana akong question for Sir Bugtong. Okay. Ka ka kadugtong, po, kadugtong po siya tungkol po sa sinabi niyo, sir. Sir, sir Bugtong, I just want yep. to have a question to you. Um, If education is the key, bakit minsan yung mga edukado pa yung sumisira sa atin? Bakit minsan okay. yung mga edukado pa yung... <laughs> yes, question. Okay. Think, uh, si, si, uh, yung si edukado Nico, pa yung yeah. nagiging salot sa lipunan, okay. Thank sir. Thank you, Nico. Uh, okay, uh, why is it that there are still people, educated people, who are the cause of the problems of the world? <laughs> okay, I would like to connect. Uh, becoming like God is in the fact the ultimate purpose of education. Correct. However, there is something lacking in education, the education that is advocated by the, edu the education that we have here governed by by professionals governed by <clears throat> uh, businessmen because you know schools are also governed uh, by businessmen for commercial purpose uh, what is lacking there is the true meaning of holistic education that's why i salute to sir Ketoy and ma'am Biuli because they are the 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 uh, persons behind this virtual holistic uh, academic and holistic uh, program, they use the word holistic. If you say holistic, it covers all the aspects of human being. But there are uh, schools who focus more on the mental aspect, on the academic side. They forgot to cultivate the heart 
which is supposedly the core of the curriculum. Okay, so first reason to our first answer to your question is that because there is no holistic formation in that person who becomes a problem of even if he or she is educated because that person did not experience the holistic formation. Maybe he is intellectually bright, he's uh, very skillful, but in the coolest part of his heart, we cannot find that love because education should be married to love because everything that he learned should be transmitted, should be converted to service. Because service, there's, uh, in service, there is love. For example, I am, um, this, this, for example, uh, we teachers, we are very intelligent in terms of the teaching learning process, but uh, we just focus on the monetary aspect. After teaching, we don't walk the talk. Uh, it could be our teaching is different from what we are doing, but uh, in doing in doing that, still we, we are still a problem of the society. So again, there is no holistic formation for now in this in this how I say generally in the world. I cannot find still a school, even religious school. I cannot still find. Um, maybe in there is still. But the force of the enemy, I mean, uh, the, the word standard is more powerful than the advocacy of that school, holistic school. Naaman ka mga 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 monk, ka mga school. Maybe in, in the school of Sir Kitoy, ka nang sa, sa Mormons, no? Ka na. Yeah. Na, naaman. But, you know, we are governed with the nurture and the nature. Even if naturally you are good, even if you are bombarded, uh, you are nurtured. No, it's uh, nurtured. Nimo, ikaw na no. By nature, you are good. You are nurtured by the school or a holistic school. For example, kung naapagi bagi holistic school, nurtured ka. But outside the school, you are still nurtured by the opposite forces, like the government. <laughs> there are laws that sometimes we have to sit aside our being human just to survive. So again, Nico, uh, uh, because still generally, we are not yet imposing or implementing the real holistic education. Education with the seal and the, the, the standard of love. Nga ang, dapat ang bata on taigit train lang na siya, dili lang mo trabaho. Kundili ang sudyante gitrain siya because to serve to humanity. Muna siya. So ang problem ka ron because knowledgeable ra kay ang tao but wala ang yang love for service and humanity. And according to Sir Kitoy, one time, I was just passing by and he he was giving advice to the graduating students. He said, Sir Kitoy, I can still remember you. And I was touched by that. That was a year ago or two years ago. To say that everything you do should be out of love and it should be uh, for love, for service, nothing else. And you share that one outside the principal's office. I think you can still remember because I still remember. So, Anna, that's holistic formation. Don't focus only on the mind because if you focus on the mind, mo dako ang o, kung sa gawas niya, kung atong dringon, mo alien. Kung dako pong kayo ang iyong heart, na wasa yung utok, di ipo na asya, matumba po na asya, to be holistic. Na, uh, tanan, tanan, no? So, dapat anak yun siya. Okay, mabalansi man niya, mabalansi. Anak siya. So, I hope na, na ka, katubag na ko imong pan, in my own end, uh, si Nico, ni, how to pronounce your name do? Nico. Nico, Nico sir, I Nico. Nico. <laughs> Kakuan ko. Because school lang pa, Thank ganda you. nga itong education. Holistic, yung dapat puto bago na sa kanang mga vision mission but realistically wala pa gina maka penetrate even in our philippine education wala pa gina ang japan nagsugod na sila sa kanang gitawag nila values curriculum nga ang uh, kinder to grade 3 wala exam kundi values ra gina values 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 na ang exam mo rin na sa grade 4 pataas but in the philippines ang atong JMRC ato lang gi kabuangan nagwa gyud no 
some students don't like that education sa pagkakataon. Ano siya? So, kulang, kulang gyud siya. Muna nga, we have a lot of uh, intellectual people kama mo kao kurinti, maun sa padya, no gap, malinot yung storya. But, the heart and the inclination to service, wala. Holistically, wala gyud siya. So, that's my, 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 kwan. Uh, that's my stand, my point of view. Uh, in response to your question, Dominic. Okay. <clears throat> Sir? Uh, okay, Nico. I, I hope. <laughs> uh, I hope na, na Sir Jason Bugtong, uh, answer your question. Are you Sir satisfied? Dennis, back to you. Yes, back to me. Thank you, Sir Bugtong. <laughs> uh, Murag nawala si Makam. Makam, uh, what would you sir, say? Sir. I'm very satisfied about the answer, sir. Sir, last thing na lang po, sir. Okay. Tanong, tanong ko naman sa'yo, sir, Ketoy. Do you think in our era, sir, we can make our new generation well-mannered and well-educated rather than well-educated nor well-mannered? <laughs> Kasi di ba po sabi mo, sir, mas maganda ng maging well-mannered kasa sa well-educated. At the same time, meron din po kasi siyang downside na kapag well-mannered ka tapos low-educated ka naman, magiging para kang si Pacquiao na hindi naman sa minamalit ko si Pacquiao pero malaki respeto ko kay Congressman Manny Pacquiao. Well-mannered siya, ang naging problema lang sa kanya, hindi kaya ng education niya kasi nga aminado din siya na hindi siya nakaabot ng ganong kalaking, ng ganong kataas ng education. So, tanong ko lang, sir, in our era, sir, sa panahon ng technical e technical technological era, can we make our next generation well-mannered and well-educated kahit na inside the family pa lang, hindi na nag-uumpisa yung pagturo ng well-manners? Well, well okay. Um, thank you so much for bringing that up. Um, Nico, that is really kanang uh, very uh, beautiful question. Um, I remember, I remember um, during the interview of President Bongbong Marcos, he was asked by the panel, um, they asked this question, um, Senator Bongbong Marcos, uh, what would be your action? Um, to the people who are involved in the system that are not true in their service. Um, do, you, do, do you think you need to change the system? Or what would be your action with that? So I don't know if nakadungog mo na nga question nga to kay Bongbong. Ang gitubag ni Bongbong kay simple ra kayo. Ingon siya, um, it is not the system who have the problem. Do you, do you think who is the problem? The problem is the person, the people in the system. Wherever you go, wherever you kanang, kanang whatever organization you participate, the system is not the problem. The problem is the person. Example, sa school. It is not, it is not the, the students who will make the school kanang, 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 kanang bitong daghan ang mahimong achievers or daghan ang mahimong successful. It is not the student. It is the teachers. Why? Teacher factor. Sorry, Sir Bugtong, Ma'am Yuli. <laughs> it is the teacher. If the teacher will unit united and then will, will do something good in the system, and then somehow we cannot achieve 100%, but somehow we can minimize the low-graded students. Now, that is a relative, meaning 
uh, it is true in this school but not true to the other school so it depends that is a relative uh, relativism my point is why the person is the problem because that person has the agency has the moral agency what is this moral agency to know between good and evil when the person know the good and the evil the bottom line is depends on the person pwede siya ma mute depends on the person if the person will choose the right thing or the wrong thing it depends upon the person all of us every individual there will come to our life that we will make decision every time not only in action but also in our mind it it will always start in our mind if that person will always choose the right thing then everything will be okay but there is always a person the, they have the agency they can choose between right and they can choose between wrong and then nobody can kanang manipulate those kind of freedom of choice and then when you say well mannered and then well educated it depends to a person if the person will always choose the right thing that is a well mannered if the person will do, do the right thing he is a uh, well educated uh sorry sir Bugtong, i will i will call you later uh, sir thank you sir go ahead sir I know, sir. Just continue, sir. I, I just would like to. I'm listening okay, for you okay. that after your input, then I will share something. Okay, sir. sir. Thank you, sir. Um, sir Jason Bugtong shared to us the holistic. That is a beautiful thing that the organization organization should establish. But at the end of the day, the person will have a choice if that person will choose the right or will choose the wrong. That is why uh, when you remember our first Zoom, I established the values. In the management framework, the first element is values. We really need to have that values. Why? Because wherever we go in every organization, that values will always be holding us to choose the right. And then when all circumstances is confronted you and then you have that kind of values you will always choose the right thing whatever happens in the world because you know diba nag-convince ta muna you are not just belong to a simple or ordinary people you belong to a royal family when you know that identity that you belong to heavenly father your decision we will always be right because you know where you're going after this life. Diba? When we matay ta, balik magyutan Heavenly Father. And what would be the question ni Heavenly Father during the interview? Are you following, doing, learning to love the people around you? Are you choosing the right thing? Those are the questions that are waiting for us. So, as we establish the values that we have, because all people are have the freedom to choose. They can choose whatever they like, but they cannot choose the consequences after those decisions. If your decision is not good, the consequence is not good. If your decision is good, then the consequence is good. So, in Anaraka simply, when you choose good, equals good. When you choose bad, it was bad. So there is a a there is a kind of line that separates between good and evil. You can always identify which one is good and which one is not. And then we are invited to always choose the right thing because, because we know we, where we will going. Mubalik may yuta ni Heavenly Father. So, sa atong interview, 
maulaw ta kung wingot ta na I'm not doing the right thing, di ba? So, I'm um, granting, sir, granting, uh, I was not doing the right thing. So, that is education, di ba? Becoming like God is in fact the ultimate purpose of education. When you done something wrong, when you take the exam and then you got lowest grade, you can take it again. And then uh, helping yourself, refine yourself to get the correct answer. What will you do? Study, analyze, and then improve. There is always um, lesson learning in experiences. Sa atong experience, diha man ta nga, ah, I'm wrong, and then I will change it. That's the reason, uh, that's the purpose of kanang improving ourselves. We will always fall down and then get up and then fall down and get up in order for us to really refine ourselves to become a good person. What our Heavenly Father wants us to be like them, to develop those characteristics that they have. So we also have that opportunity to develop those characteristics. Okay, Sir Bogtong, it's your turn. Thank you, Sir Dennis. Actually, okay, actually uh, you have a very comprehensive uh, input. Actually, you shared everything. But I just would like to add, uh, would like to uh, use the psychological aspect in response to the question of, uh, still Nico, uh, yes, about, sir. Uh, well mannered and well educated. Yes. No. So I think it's you, Sardinus, who shared that well mannered person is better than well educated. Yes, sir. Because in uh, in the field of psychology, uh, we have the so-called id, uh, no, uh, id ego, and the super ego, or the preconscious, the conscious, and the super conscious, and that's that, uh -huh. that's a process. So a well educated person falls falls under conscious conscious being or egoistic person no they learn many things for self consumption but a well mannered person surpass the, the the consciousness and the egoistic and that is the highest that is the post uh, uh, post consciousness and the super ego a while ago sir did this mention about uh, conscience no so, uh, well educated person, they are still in the middle. I will not talk anymore about the id and the preconscious because they, be, they belong to the, the brute uh, animals. But actually, we are animals, but we are rational beings. We are conscious beings. But if you are just conscious enough to many things input in the world, then you can be an well educated person. But that is not enough. You have to go to the highest level. That is the uh, the post consciousness or the super ego the super ego it's like jesus christ jesus christ did not conform the world standard but he goes beyond the world standard a world standard out of love for, for service no so para nako still well mannered person who are post uh, egg, uh who has the super ego and the post conscious person are the well mannered person uh, Mom Fury asked a question a while ago. What is the biggest problem in the world or the worst problem in the world? The worst problem in the world is the well-educated people. Okay? Yes. Uh, again, the worst problem in the world is the well-educated people who have no manners. If I have to go back to World War II, who caused the World War II? The well-educated people. People who invented the chamber, tong poison, doctors. Hitler was an architect, an educated person. Winston Churchill, Stalin, they were well-educated people. But shall I say, some of them have no manners. But if all the people have manners, education will just follow. That's why. Each subject is called discipline, science discipline, Filipino discipline. No, that's the, the, the old version. Uh, we call that discipline. Diba? We have the so-called interdiscipline because each subject is a discipline. 
So my principle before always tells us that there is no learning if there is no discipline. No? So therefore, manners should come first. And manners should be uh, higher than education. No? So mag-una good ang, ang, ang manners. No? So muna, I still agree that well-mannered person is better than well-educated person. Because uh, education or learning can be thought, but values cannot be thought. It just be caught. No? So muna nga, the problem in the Philippines is not the system, but is the Filipino manners, the attitude. Nga no, mga Filipino man to Singapore, mapalaw man sa traffic uh, rules. Yeah. Nga no, mga Filipino sa laing naso, di man mag-eat o babulgam. Di man mag yes. bat or water. Yes. It's because of the system. It's because of the culture of that country. And then the Filipinos are afraid of the law. Then they adapt the culture. They behave. So, and I guess, yeah. so I still stick to the to the premise that well-mannered person is better than well-educated a person. Jesus Christ has no education, but he was a well-mannered person. He was a teacher with no chalk, no blackboard. He just thought under the tree, the fig tree, but he spoke with love, with moral lessons about values, not more on the worldly standard because education. Most of the things thought by education sector is just for worldly standard, but manners will connect to the end. That is our communication with the creator in the end of time. So, sir, more na ako share. Thank you. Nice, nice thought, Sir Jason Bugtong. Very nice, a very wide and very scientific with um uh on sani kanang connected ang science ug ang kaning standard and then ang manner the best kayo siya um thank you so much for sharing that to all of us and then i hope Nico Makam is still raising his hand i think there is a follow up question uh would you like to um share that to us Nico uh, sir hindi pa siya question oh, wait lang po wait lang um, hindi po siya question actually. Um, gusto ko lang dagdagan po yung mga sinabi niyo po. Actually, we can we can actually do it to have a both well-educated and well-mannered person if we only choose the path that King Solomon. Do you, you know King Solomon, sir, right? Yes. He is on the Bible. He is the wisest yes. king because there's yes. big difference between wise men and smart men or genius. Yes. Because yes. wise they have the manner and also they have the knowledge. So if yeah. we choose King Solomon's path that he asked God for wisdom, not knowledge, not, not just manner nor not just knowledge, he asked God for wisdom. That's why a lot of his people, a lot of his loyal followers believed in him because he has that both quality of a king, being wise. He is a well-mannered king and also he is a well-educated king. That's why when the time that Cleopatra tries to steal his kingdom or try to kill him. He didn't know anything because he has the wisdom that God gave him. So if we only put God in our knowledge, if we only put God in everything, we will have that both quality of well-mannered and well-educated. And we can do that if we start inside our family because everything will start in our family. But nowadays, as you can see, sir, Sometimes inside the family, dun pa rin nagsisimula sir yung pagiging uneducated ng iba at pagiging unmannered ng iba. Kasi sometimes may mga tao na nagsasabi, pag tinanong mo, saan ka nakatira, ang sasagot nila, impyerno. Anong pangalan ng nanay mo? Demonya or impacta. Anong pangalan ng tatay mo? Demonyo. Yun pala ang nangyayari. Pag uwi ng bahay niya, ang sasabi ng nanay niya, ano ba naman tong buhay na to nakatira ako sa impyerno? Tapos sasabi naman ng tatay, Ikaw to mahimik ka diyan demonya ka or impacta ka. Tao sasabihin ng nanay niya sa tatay, demonyo ka kasi. So dun na, dun pa lang sir. Sabi ko nga po sa chat. Sometimes kung ano yung action ng matatanda, yun yung nakikitang tama ng mga bata. Ginagaya ng kabataan ngayon na dapat hindi nila ginagawa kasi yun yung mali na dapat tayo bilang nakatatanda 
Ako lang po. May dalaw, meron pa akong anim na kapatid na mas bata sa akin. So dapat sa akin pa lang mag-uum sa akin pa lang mag-uumpisa na yung pagiging educated, pagiging mannered. Pero minsan aminado ko as a kuya, hindi ko nagagampanan yung part na yun na kung minsan ako pa yung nagiging cause ng kalokohan, ako pa yung nagiging cause ng kaotoan. Pero sometimes we need to balance it and you can call it you can call it balance without chaos because sometimes good things will start in a bad bad situation. Depende lang yun kung paano tayo mag-act. Depende lang kung paano natin ipapakita or paano natin aayusin yung naging problema. Nakadepende lang yun sa magiging action natin. Kung magiging wise ba tayo, we will, work, we will work wise, work smart, or work hard. Kasi magkakaiba yan. If we work smart, maayos mo ang problema. Andun yung pagiging knowledgeable mo. If we work hard, wala yung knowledgeable mo, pero andun yung well-mannered mo. But if we work wise, andun yung pareho na makikita sa atin na it's a good thing to do that thing rather than to do this other other way. Kasi sa lahat ng problema, there's always an option kung paano mo siya aayusin. Nakadepende na lang yun kung paano ka pipili ng tama at mali. Kasi minsan may morally good, but there's merong minsan morally good na mali at minsan merong moral, morally bad na tama. Ganon ang tingin ngayon ng mga tao because there's a big difference in morally more in things that we can have morally and things that the worldly can can offer. But sometimes we need to balance everything from world worldly to morally. Yan lang po sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Makam, for um, that insight. Um, thank you so much for sharing Solomon. You know the time of Solomon, wisdom. Ang gisulti niya dito, in the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So thank you so much. <laughs> Fearing the Lord will be the beginning of our wisdom. So si Maxine, ganahan kay siya mo share. Nag-raise ang iyang hand. Maxine, would you like to unmute? Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. And good evening, sir, Bugtong. So... I would like to follow up lang sa gisulti ni Kwa, ni Makam about sa family. So I agree na some families have a really bad um, handling or way of handling um, some situations. So I believe man good na ka nang if um, education starts sa school, um, uh, morality and manner should start sa family. So, that's why there are times nga ka nang pwede mag-pray mo together. You'll have um example for 6 o'clock prayers, just like we do here sa amuang family, sir, na ang kong lola, very religious, madyot akong lola. Um, so, kad pagkabata na ako, um, ako'y dalhon-dalhon niya sa kanang mga, sa chapel na mo, kunay mga activities, um, sa church, and then we me mo pray me pirmi and then naro ko pirmi si ang kilid mo na nga mo na sa siguro nga nida ko ko nga kanang i have a big fear in god i have a very big love to god and i also have a um i can say a um right manners mo na nga kanang i am um, i believe na kuan sa family jud mag start dapat ang morality og ang manner so if ang uh, i believe siguro sa saying uh, if a family uh, if a family prays together sticks more uh, sticks together and then kwan kanang mas maglive sila sa world better so dapat jud pray 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 jud mo permis with your family para guided mo tanan sa inyo hang life dili mo malusog direction and then na jud mo saktong manners mo dako mo with good manners and if you want to be um, well educated, you can do it at school and then at home you can be well mannered at the same time. So put God in the center of your life and in your family, Jud Permi. That's all, sir. Thank you. Most of our students, uh, uh, a lot of my students is talking to me that ako ning live, sir. This is me, this is me. All of all of me, ako ni I, 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 me, me, me. So forget about me. Kita mo ng me, M, E. Balik tara lang ng M. Himuha ng we. W. Mahi mo na siyang we. So kanang M, me, me, me. Balik tara na ninyo. Mahi mo na siyang W. So we. 
we 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 as a family we 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 na na siya so okay so nga na ra nang formula diha <laughs> okay so so much things that we talk about um there's a lot of kanang ideas coming out from you and then we're so much thankful ni sir bugtong um there's a lot of it nga uh, from science science to standards and then to kanang characters attributes na pwede natong ma-develop as a person and then we can also see how the the other people is doing to become a somebody and something um to to move forward i hope na napatay oras ma'am biuli gamay na lang jud ako na lang siyang i-run through and then we can um um actually we are not yet in cultivating the seed of greatness but all of our discussion is already great and then all of it is already kanang uh, na 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 cope up na to tanan ang gusto natong mahibaw yes. and i'm very much a thankful for those who participated thank you so much for that burning burning desire to really share what you learn uh, based on your own experience thank you so much and then as i continue um uh going back to the power in yourself cultivating the seed of greatness um kanisyang si mutanaw taning seed how the seed germinate and then we will invite sir bugtong to expound this video kay kabalo ka sir bugtong science ra na the best can we explain ani so we will watch first the video and then we will ask sir bugtong to expound how the seed germinate and become a big tree okay hi tani wala man ah okay so dili mo lihok ang video so we will just ask sir bugtong to go ahead um give us kanang idea sir how the seed kanang germinate and then become a big tree thank you sir thank you sir <laughs> <I'm busy. laughs> okay going back to so, you sir bugtong <laughs> uh, seeds our life seeds have the capacity seeds represent power they have the capacity the ability the potential as you mentioned a while ago or based on the definition uh, but seeds have first to anchor on the reality it has to be put down first it has to be humbled to the soil it has to be to be soon you know uh because the soil has a lot also of capability it has also a power so the seed is dependent from the from the soil especially the uh, fertile soil no because there are different types of soil like like in the bible no that the seeds fill into different kinds of soil but it has to be in the fertile ground because uh, it is also in the soil that there are nutrients fertilizers needed by the seed. Uh, but before it will come a seedling, it has to uh, sprout pasya. No? It has to, to the, the coat has to peel off no? by that process. There are also some bacteria who will act on the process. There are some enzymes. No? But as they grow, no? seed also experience pressure experience heat there are also other things so like life life is not an easy journey there is pressure there is temperature that affects in the process so the seeds also experience the same thing so and then as it sprouts then to grow more it needs another influence it needs sunlight no it needs water no it needs carbon dioxide to grow. So life is composed of uh, support, scaffolds for the seeds to grow. No? So scientifically, so ang seeds should have a soil, should have 
heat from the sun should have carbon dioxide, should have water and fertilizer for it to grow. No, and as it grows uh, to become a seedling to uh, herbs and shrubs to trees, those things basic needs are part. So as they grow, they need also uh, interaction with with human as we give a carbon give off carbon dioxide from animals. So there is growth and also there is development. But most of all, the human person, the human being is put by ground on the top of this creation. We are the crown of God's creation because we are pro-creator. We have to be cultivated. That is the role of a human. Because if we don't cultivate them, if we don't take care of them, they will die. So human being play important role to cultivate. So like us, we need also to be cultivated, but we can also cultivate ourselves. Like the, the seeds, even if there are no uh, helping factor, they will, just, they will just grow by themselves. Part of their nurture, even if there is, no, part of their nature, even if there is no nurture. But mas nindot kung ay nature plus nurture. So I hope, sir, ma, uh, that's my only explanation on my, on my end. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir Bugtong, for beautifully um, give us the knowledge about that uh, seed germany nindot you guys sir nindot kay mong share sir um mo na ang akong mga student usually mingus sa daghan ng challenges sir daghan ng problema sir kita mo sa seed na asya sa dirt na asya din ha maingon si sir bugto na pressure na tanan diha unya paghuman ana ni sprout ang ang seed mo na sad na kamo mga student because of your problems because of your challenges you sprout and become a very nice uh, tree in the future. So um, accept all of those so you will learn from it. And then moving forward, these are the seeds of greatness. I have eight. So we will just run through because we don't have much time. Ako lang ipakita sa inyo ha ang, ang walo kabuk seeds in order for each and every individual to become, to achieve the greatness. Uh, that they are kanang planning to have in their lives. But actually, you already have that greatness in you. All you have to do, Ingun si Sir Bugtong, you, you, you only have to cultivate in order for these seeds to grow. So we have the opportunity to grow. We have this kanang great uh, potential for us to really develop those full potential in inside ourselves. So, okay. And number one, true identity. I already talked about this. If we know where we came from, if we really know na gikan gyutan ni Heaven Father, now we were going to return to Him. So, it's easy for us. It's like, unsay problema diha sir kitoy. I know where, where I'm going. So, kung na ma problema, I can do it. Uh, I will just develop myself in order for me to grow. So I, because I know where I came from. I came from my royal family with my heavenly father. And after this mortal probation, I will just go back. And then that is my true identity. Wala gisulti diringa teacher ka, manager ka, kanang engineer. Wala. Those are not real identity. Those are images. Those are images. Our real identity is to go back to our to the presence of our heavenly Father, to be like Him, to become rulers in many kingdoms. Dito sa yahang kingdom. Okay. Next, be anxiously engaged. So, sa school, di ba? Sometimes may mga daghan ng buluhat tonoy, but still. Continue to be anxiously engaged. Kada bitaw ng natay burning desire na bisag kapuy na nagyap mo tay desire ng to continue moving on to learn. Ang gisulti ni Sir Bugtong ganina to learn is to teach. Na if we learn something, so you need to share that sa imuhang seatmates, sa imuhang classmates. So kung namuy nga na aser kito yung accounting lisod kayo, grupo dayon. Oh, get all the people around you and then group works. 
and then find the best answer. So mo na siya anxiously engage. Dili kay ah, ako, me, me, me. Dili na me karun. We na karun. We, we, we. Okay, so kana ang ikatulo is listening. You know, listening. You know, nai student na nag-suffer og mental health. Kabalo mo, unsa regihim mo na ako, naminaw ako niya. Ah, she talks about all of these things and then and a lot of things nga yang gishare. And then after that, ningun siya. Thank you so much, Sir Kitoy, for listening. I see my potential. Kanarin ko ako, I'm not saying anything. I'm just listening. I, I'm, I'm not even suggesting wala kay gisulti na minaw ra ko niya at the end of at, at the end sa mo conversation niya na siya nga sir kitoy thank you kay nga na minaw ka nako na um the best experience kanar <laughs> wala kay gisulti so listening is very kanang very nice uh, characteristic to develop our greatness we should have that listening skills when you see ang listening Ang imong usa ka dunggan sa pikas dunggan kung imo nang itandi mo form na siya heart. Tanawa, tanawa imagine na imagine ang imong left ear ug ang right ear niya imong itakdo mahimo na siyang heart. Di ba so kung kung mo listen di ay ka you will have the heart. So ingon si Sir Bugtong when you teach teach it with love. So what does it mean you need to listen? <laughs> Okay, so next, the walking. The walking, why the sin, the, the seed of greatness is walking? Because all people will walk forward. Napa mo nakita nga na naglakaw backward? Wala, di ba? Because all of the walking is forward. If you choose forward, you will progress. Kung ma-fall down ka, dagan challenges, but if you walk forward, you will achieve. But when you fall down and you walk backward, you cannot achieve what you desire. So the most important thing in the walking is walking forward. Because in that way, you will always achieve. So that is the walking. Next is the process. Anak ka niya, sir, kito'y naningkamot na ko, nagtuon na ko, but then fail yapong ko. That is what we mean, go through the process. Na may gitawag nga, you fail and then you learn. Relearn and then you improve. And then you will kanang experience the whole process. Kaya kung na ay challenges mabot sa mong life, you will just say, ay, niagi na ko, Ana. I will just uh, kanang move forward even there's a lot of challenges. And then it will refine yourself, inside yourself, that you can say, I can do this. You know, Self-motivation will move you to go forward. And go through the process. Okay. Next is priorities plus measurement. The priorities is always, diba nagisguta about spinning the plate. Now spinning the plate is actually setting priorities. If you will look around, uh, kanang asa ang kinahanglan ngay mong patuyokon. Kaya you cannot uh, spin the plate at, at one time. You can just find those pl plates that needs to be spinning. So what is that's priority? Find the priority and then make a measurement. Are you improving or not? And then make assessment, analyze if you will continue or not. So find those things that you need to eliminate and find those things that you need to move forward. That is priorities, spinning the plates. Okay, growth mindset. The growth mindset example is when I fail the exam, the growth mindset will say, Okay, I will take it again. But the fixed mindset will say na, ah, I cannot do it. I'm just here. sir. I will not improve. No. Growth mindset is thinking that you can do it whatever challenges that will happen in your life. Okay? Last is learn to understand the timing. Sir, I'm already prepared. I am qualified. But wala ko nila gikol because it's not your time yet. You learn to understand that there is always timing in every time. So when you understand the timing, and then you will just understand na, okay, I must prepare myself. I remember Sir Bugtong, ni share siya sa na, na, you just prepare yourself. Prepare to gather all of your education, 
uh, you study college, master's degree, doctor's degree, and then when there is a position will come up, you will be the one will be picked up. Nga man, because you are already qualified. And then not um, thinking na I'm already qualified, why you're not choosing me? No, because you have that characteristics to understand the timing. People will love you because you understand. The best thing that to understand people is to understand them first in order for them to understand you. So you have to really understand the timing. Okay, senior high school students, I salute all of you. We have a great time and we have so many things. See, we have more than 900 participants, 99 plus. I think it's 100 plus. You can see that there's a lot of students really want to learn and want to improve and then want to really learn how to develop the seed of greatness. Actually, I already told you, you already have that greatness inside of you. All you have to do is to follow what Sir Bukdong is talking. You just need to develop it in order to grow and to become great in the eyes of everybody. Thank you so much for that beautiful, wonderful opportunity. Uh, I'm so much thankful to all of you. I'll get back the time to mom, teacher Buley, please. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, Sir Kito. I know we have really extended our time, but here we are here. There are still a lot of students nga ning naminaw na good sila, sir. So because you are here, can we all open our video to give your thanks to Circuit Toy? Um, can you open your camera so you can also give your thanks to them by showing your faces? It's almost like 10 o'clock, but we are here. So it's really a pleasure to have you. To see you, nga bisan gabi ina, but we are here. Namay nakatunan, guys. Actually, atong chat po yung ragun mo dito mag mag ear out sa inyong mga pain, yung experience. Nag nag hope jud ko nga na ay mo sigi chat pero wag gini chat. Okay, but anyway. Nalingaw sila mambuli sa nito the explanation is her book talk. They don't like to type anything. They just want to listen. I see. Okay, so. I want you all to open your camera. Katon dili maka open. Nakoy hang yun ninyo, guys, if it's okay. Diba na my chat button. Can you please give the feedback? Like what you learn or kana na na impact ba mo na mo na feel na mo isulti before you leave this Zoom. Pwede ninyo i message diri in yung feedback. So also that can help. Us, Sir Kitoy, Sir Jason, and I to to grow, to improve this project, to improve this this session. On some, now, do you have any comment or suggestion about time, the time that we give? Do you want it earlier? Do you want it really stop at nine thirty, or do you have your preferred day, or do you have any topic you want to discuss about, or maybe? Your comment about the, the, the lesson today. Unsaman mga thank you. We all love to hear from you, your feedback. It really matters, guys. So before we say goodbye, before you leave this Zoom, please leave your message. I'll be here. I'll be waiting for your messages. If it's okay, can you give that time for us? So kanang nag-video karon, please stay. Stay if you have your camera. Kay mo picture ta ha? Okay. Ma Ma Muli, I have I have Google form to to I have questions and then they can answer in the Google form. Okay, so because I, I, will, I also I will share I will share it in the chat box. Oh yes, please. Or okay. also with uh, to our page. Pwede sa dito sa page. Okay, in the page. Okay, okay, okay. Sa page na lang. There's also the attendance there. Katung nakalimot sa link. So pwede dito. Okay. I, I see also here, um, Rosalyn, Sige Sabal, Aiden. Please, others also leave your comment. Okay. So while others cannot open their camera, I'll just have to take pictures kung kinsa rin nag-open sa camera. I can see you guys. I can see Rosalyn, Maxine, Jezebel, Paolo, uh, Kates, uh, Kababahay, and Maura, Nacho. How about Aiden? Wowie, YX, 
Pro, Realme C15, V2036, Ruiz, Chris J, Redmi, uh, Vivo1906. Please open your camera, Chris J, and the rest. Okay, that's a lot better. Okay, so let's now have our photo opt. Five, four, three, two, one, smile. Okay, salamat kayo, guys. And kanang kuan ng kuhan ara ko diri. Please, um, I'm I'm still waiting for the others to, uh, leave their comments and feedback. Okay, so goodbye, everyone. Sir Kitoy, let's clap our hands for Sir Dennis Kitoy. Thank you, Sir Kitoy. And to Sir Jason Bugtong. And to Sir Jason Bugtong. Thank you, Sir Jason. Thank you, guys. Let's tap our shoulders for sustaining the time being here. So it's a grace from God, no? Okay, so now um, I would like Sir Jason Bugtong to lead the prayer. Is it okay? Can you bless also? Okay. Can you also bless the students? Pray over them, their family. Okay. Thank you. Let's put ourselves in the holy presence of God. And they will be Father of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, thank you so much for the gift of persons. Sir Kitoy is a gift, Ma'am Biuli. And these young people who are virtually present, they are gifts to us, teachers. And as we also extend our teaching in love to them, may this also be a gift for them. And thank you, Lord, for this gift that you give to us. Thank you for this fellowship of learning, fellowship of loving. As we continue this uh, endeavor, may you bless us more with good health, with enlightenment, for us to pursue our advocacy of having holistic education. Bless these young people in their dreams. May you grant all their good wishes in life. May you bless their education. May you bless them with good health. May you bless their family, their parents, with uh, abundant grace, with good health, and anything good wishes they have. May you grant them, Lord. Keep these young people safe. And may they find happiness meaning and purpose in their life. May you help them in achieving their dreams. May you cultivate their love. May you help them in cultivating their faith for them to achieve that power that they have in their hearts. A power to change, a power to help, a power to serve. Make them responsible citizens of our country and productive people of the word and children of God. This prayer I ask to you, O Lord, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you sir. Have a thank great you. night. You, sir. Sir, Bye. Kitoy. Thank you so much, Sir Kitoy. Thank you, Paolo. Thank you. Thank you, guys, Erica and everyone. Okay, I am getting your feedback. I am waiting for the others' feedback. Please, please message us here. Bye bye, Erica. Bye bye, everyone. Before you go. Yes, before you go, leave some comments. Bye, Circuit Toy. Bye. 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 See you. Asa na mga kaman na tawag na tawag na tawag na tawag na tawag na tawag na tawag.
Isa ba yun muna ni Dutan Ato Pang? Na-learn ka, Pang? Okay. 